What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning into yet another video and if you're new here, please get down there, hit subscribe and while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. So if you've been following the videos, our BMW over here has been down for almost two months. So we've actually been driving, daily driving, the blue Subaru for that whole time. And as you can see, she is a dirty girl. I mean, she even has streaks coming down. She got some bird poop right there. So this car is in desperate need of a wash. So we're gonna go ahead and give her a wash, get these wheels clean again. These arrow guards aren't in the best shape right now. So gotta get this thing cleaned up. And then I got an exciting thing that I wanna throw on the car that you guys will know in a little bit. Glove box mod. Who said that? Who am I kidding? You guys already know it by the title of this video and the thumbnail. So let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and then we'll bring it back in and get started on it. I just got these things from Amazon. Basically these things go on the corner of your tire like that and it helps your uh, hose spin right here so it doesn't get stuck. So I got four of these, put them on the outer corners of your tires and you're good to go. Dawn dish soap in one of these Chemical Guys sprayers for the wheels basically i just do this and if they're not too bad i don't have to scrub them if they are everything comes out with a simple scrub so i love this stuff just water it down with water obviously and you're good to go you want to spray the wheels don't get too close to them okay remember oh they're right here and then you have to pull that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You got them? Both? Yeah. Alright, you want to come here? All right guys, so there you guys have it. Car is now clean. Now, let's get wrenching. Or in this case, socketing? Is that a thing? I don't know. Let's get like, working on the car. So if you're familiar with these older model Subarus, you would know that the GC shares basically the same dash layout as a Forester. So what I've done in my car is I have this dual cup holder set up right here. So as you can see, we got two cup holders, so we got that. We also have the dash cubby out of a Forester. Now, if you open it up, and yes, I have a bunch of masks in here because of everything going on in the world. Let me take these out. But basically what you see here is this nice like velvet 
material here. So that's pretty cool that the Foresters bring. A normal Impreza Dash Cubby would be like this one right here where it's just plastic inside, like it's the bare material. So yeah, we got that part of the Forester. Now the Foresters only came half black, half gray. Some people call this dark gray. So I guess for those people, this is dark gray and then the bottom half is lower gray. So all of this right here is like a very light gray. Did I say, I don't know if I said lower gray, I meant light gray. But yeah, so all of this is light gray. I was at the junkyard the other day and I opened the glove box on a Forester. And as you can see, mine has, you know, the plastic material here where the Forester has suede. So I started thinking it would be cool to have that on my car, but I didn't want to go through the hassle of like having to paint it because you know, it's never going to look the same. So I was like, I wonder if I can take it off. So I started messing around with it and taking all these little screws off. And what do you know? The inner shell just comes right off. So as you can see, we have this right here that is, and I know it looks dirty and clean in some areas because I just sprayed some cleaner on it, but we have this suede material insert for our glove box here. So we're going to see if we can put this in there today. But before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this thing because it is pretty dirty. I mean, it was at a junkyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum it, get it all cleaned up, and then we should be ready to throw it in. So once I do the dash conversion on the coupe, I already have one ready to go here with the suede inside. So this is what is gonna go in the coupe. It's not gonna have a glove box because I'm only doing the top part of the dash, but I will be flocking the entire dash so that thing is gonna be like suede on the outside and suede on the inside. So it got me thinking. I got this left hand drive dash cubby brand new for the blue car and this is gonna be the only thing that's gonna be you know, the bare material inside and I don't want that. So when I go ahead and flock the dash, if it looks anything similar to what's in the dash cubby and the glove box, I'm gonna go ahead and do the interior of this dash cubby as well, or airbag delete if you will. Cause like I said, I want everything matching and this is a very rare part. So I don't wanna go ahead and do it now and have it get messed up and not look right. So I'm gonna make sure it looks right on the dash. If it does, I'll go ahead and do it on in the inside of this. I do have another one right here here and this one is obviously used this one is going on the coupe like I said I'm only doing the upper part of the dash so it's gonna be convenient to have this as my glove box in the coupe so this one I'm gonna be doing the whole like flocking of the dash so this is gonna get flocked and I guess the interior of this will get flocked as well so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and then let's see if we can fit it onto our normal GC glove box All right, so I got this thing pretty clean. That vacuum with this little tip right here, let me show you guys. This little tip right here put in work. So it got into all the little corners in here. So as you can see, it's very clean. By the way, I forgot to mention, I do have two of these dash cubbies for sale. Well, I have four. I have two normal GC ones and two Forester suede interior ones. So if any of you guys are looking for one, go ahead and DM me on Instagram and we can work out a deal. But right now, it's time to get working on this glove box. The main thing here is I wasn't able to take just the glove box off at the junkyard and it's not looking like I can do it on this one either. The tabs on the side that you're supposed to squeeze together to get it to come out, if you squeeze them too hard, they'll end up breaking. So what I have to do is take off this whole lower section off which is pretty easy it's a couple of screws as well so we're gonna take this whole thing off and then we'll be able to take this off of this and swap over the interior piece All right, so we got the whole assembly off. Now we can go ahead and take the glove box off of the main piece right here. And then we'll take this off of this main piece right here. So basically I have to, well, this is good right here. I just have to take this piece off right here. Take these two screws off down here. 
pop them out and then the glove box should just come right off of this big shell right here. All right, so I got these two apart. Now, in order to put that on this, it's just a matter of taking these little screws out right here that you see here, one in the center, two in the corner. This comes off, put the new one on, screw it down the same way, and you should be good to go. All right, so we got this thing all assembled as you can see. Nice suede interior there. And then this is the old piece that's just plain plastic, so we don't need this anymore. So let's go ahead and throw this on real quick. All right, boys, check it out. We got the Forrester suede dash cubby here, and we got the Forrester suede interior of the glove box here. Feels so nice. I still have to put my stuff back in there, but it's a very cheap and easy mod you can do to your car, and it'll give it a nice, a nicer look, I guess. It's really only a couple clips and a couple screws, so all you really need is a trim tool for the clips and a little Phillips screwdriver for all the little screws and you can do it in like 20 minutes so it's really simple easy cheap and the end result is really nice so there you guys have it if you want to do this to your GC and you want to start with the dash cubby like I said hit me up DM me on Instagram and we can work out a deal I can get you set up with one of the two that I have for sale or if you're just looking for a dash cubby I know the lids like to break so if you're just looking for a normal dash cubby for your GC I have two of those as well so like I said DM me and we can work out a deal so that's gonna do it for this one guys I have so many fun and exciting videos planned for the near future so make sure you subscribe so you stick around for that and you don't miss out on it make sure you click that little bell icon so you get notified when I do post the video like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this one fun little project to do on the weekend you could probably get one on order um, if not you know you got to find someone parting out a Forester or you can go to a junkyard but they're fairly easy to come by if you guys have any trouble hit me up and next time I go to the junkyard maybe I can get one for you guys but yeah that's gonna be it for this one so make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas